Hey guys, so we'll be taking a look at a question on the Autodesk Navisworks forms, uh, kind of working with phases. So what I'll do is I'll open up Google and we'll take a look at the question. So it's find items by Revit phase. Now the issue that they were having was that when they created the phase, they were creating it like this and they were having the issue of it only grabbing things specific to a project or to a specific model and not actually grabbing all elements that have existing in them so it's a really easy setup and it's really it's kind of confusing at the same time because of that because each phase does have that number it's almost like a phase id number uh, i'm not entirely sure what it is i know like uh, work sets have ID numbers with them as well, uh, work set IDs. Uh, could be the same thing, but for the most part, you can ignore this. The only time that I would see you would need to include this into a, a search set is if you did want to uh, drill down into a specific, you know, if you have multiple models um, within an NW or in an Navis works model and you'd want to drill down into a specific Revit model and not include the other. Um, existing elements in the other models then I could see where you would want to do this so to jump into it I'll minimize this and we'll kind of take a look at it and what I'll do is I'll set up a search set so you at least know how but I'll also import a search set so that you can just use the ones that are I've already created so uh, to do that what we'll do is we'll go to our home tab and open up find items now with find items open what we'll do is we'll create the actual phase so I'm gonna or the search set so I'm gonna delete all these conditions and we'll kinda start from new and uh, this is for any search set that you create this is something that I do so I'll go out to the element select it and then here's everything that you can create a search set from so I mean starting from items all the way to the end of this you can create a search for search set for all these things uh, for phase, um, it's over here for phase created, and you'll see phase created down here, uh, and it'll say phase, new construction, and then whatever that number is. Now we can ignore all of that and then just have new construction in this. So if we drill into this, we can come down to phase created, we can say name, we can say contains, or actually we can say equals and then new construction is already there now if you do get those other options ignore them and just type in the value so you can just do that as you see here so just type in that value and then come over here and do find all just to make sure it works now in this model everything is practically on existing so it's not that helpful visually to see how the other ones work but you would just come in here and type in existing or um, whatever other options you have. <clears throat> so, and also at the same time, I'll be sending you or within, so below in the description, you'll find a link to the OneDrive. And in there, you can actually go into the folder specific to this video. And then you'll, I'll, there's an XML file that you can import as a search sets. And then you'll have all the different phases already set up so you won't have to manually do this but in general you know it's nice to know how to create your own search sets so you can because with that you can create a variety of different things um, after you do do this and verify that it works all you would have to do is come over to your sets dialog box and to open that you would just go to your view tab windows and then you can come down here to sets I think it's somewhere on these tabs as well I'm not entirely sure where I don't actually um, use these too often uh, just the main ones pretty much but if you have sets open afterwards you would just need to come here and save your search and then give it some name pretty much uh, there's also an option for save selection we're not necessarily talking about that but just to kind of give you an idea uh, they're manual manually selected items if we come out here and select the site we'd uh, be able to save that as a selection. So if we click out of that and select it, it pretty much does that. If we come back to this search set that we created to look for new construction, then you can see that it selects everything over there.
also I want to show you if we switch this to phase and then do category equals to kind of give you an idea there's a variety of ways that you can search models so um, you know again uh, you can select any of these and create a search set so with that said um, I'll delete these I think for the most part you should know how to set up a search set yourself they're pretty easy just uh, you know over here set it up find all to see if it works and then save it and give it some descriptive name but to hopefully help you out I'll just import to show you how to do this but just use this file and just import it or save it somewhere so you can use it later but um, you can see there I've imported it phases and then it's phases new existing future and demo so if we go to new we can kind of see how that's set up so it's phase created new equals new construction we'll take a look at existing future and then <clears throat> demo which is uh, phase created so it looks at that and then it also uh, it filters it down to things that have been demolished so uh, hopefully it kind of helps you out uh, at least now you know how to set up your own fa or search sets uh, not just specific to phases but any in general but you can also just import this if it is phases that you care about just import this and you're good to go for their question that's exactly what they needed so it did get answered um, hopefully it kind of helps more people out there kind of know what um, you know the different things that they can search for especially phases being that it's kind of confusing with uh, with the uh, phase number or whatnot with it um, hopefully that kind of helps some people out as well especially if that was something you're dealing with uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments or just want to reach out um, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next video.